This is by far one of the easiest ways to extract any data from any website in minutes. If you're looking to turn a website from this to this, well, you've come to the right place. Cause I'm gonna show you a AI powered tool to do just that. What's going on guys? I'm Mike. I talk about all things AI and automation to help you save time and make more money inside of your business. Let's get into this AI tool to allow us to scrape any website in a matter of minutes. So the tool that I wanna showcase today is called Browse AI. And just as it says in the landing page, it is one of the easiest ways to extract and monitor data from any website. And the basis of Browse AI is they basically have these robots that allow us to crawl any page in a very easy to use low code UI, which I love. You can see they have a ton of different integrations which we can use so that when we scrape our data from our website, we can then pass it through whatever kind of CRM or database that we're working with. And also one of the reasons why I love Browse AI is because they have a bunch of pre-built templates that we're gonna be checking out to get all kinds of really cool data from a bunch of different popular websites. We have everything from YouTube to Yelp, Zapier, Google, LinkedIn here, Glassdoor, I know Indeed's around here somewhere, TikTok, eBay. There's a ton of great pre-built templates in here for us to extract information in a matter of seconds. But I'm also going to show you how we can build custom robot scrapers to get any kind of information and have it in a neat, organized CSV or Excel file. If you wanna follow along in this tutorial, you can click the link in the description below to take you to Browse AI. If you sign up with that link, it does help out the channel. This is not sponsored by Browse AI, I just really like the tool. And I think for a lot of you non-coders out there, you're really going to appreciate how simple this is. So you can click the link down below to get started and let's hop right into Browse AI. So I've logged into Browse AI and right at the start, we're ready to start putting in our URL to extract all of the data that we're looking for. You can see we have our little robot guy in the middle here, basically the robot that's gonna control our web scraping and allow us to get whatever kind of information that we're looking for. So let's find a site to scrape. And today we're gonna be scraping sam.gov. If you don't know what sam.gov is, it's basically a US government contracting site, which hosts a ton of free government contracts in a database for people to bid and put quotes on. There's a ton of really cool and interesting information on here. So you can take some time to poke around with it. But what we're going to do is head on over to the search tab here. And we're just going to search for a specific keyword here to get some results. I'm going to type in the word buildings. And you can see here, we already got a list of some contracts here for expanding a parking structure, a courtyard upgrade, toilet replacements, lodging spaces, civil works, there's all kinds of really interesting stuff on here. So if you've ever been interested in government contracting, this is a great place to start. But this is also going to be a great website for us to learn how Browse AI works so we can scrape some government contracts and put it in a nice organized CSV and Excel file. So I'm gonna take this URL from Browse AI with the buildings search query already inside of it. We're gonna head back over to Browse AI and we're gonna pop this right in here. If it's your first time using Browse AI, it's gonna prompt you to install the Browse AI Chrome extension. So make sure you also install the Browse AI Chrome extension because this is what's gonna allow us to build out our scraper on their platform. So I'm gonna add this to my browser. It'll also ask us to grant some permissions in order to record our actions. Just gotta click on this and click allow. And then same thing, we're gonna need to allow recording in incognito mode. So we're just gonna wanna open our settings here. And then I'm on Brave, so it's this allow in private tab here, but I'm pretty sure on Chrome, it's allow in incognito mode. So you're just gonna switch that to be on and we should be all good to go. We have our URL in the origin URL. We just click on start training this robot and it pops up a brand new tab with the same URL we put in of sam.gov. I'll click on okay here. And now you'll notice at the top right, we have our browse AI guy right here who is going to help us scrape this website. So if we give him a click, you'll notice we have a couple different options here. We can either capture a list, which is exactly how it looks in the picture there, where it allows us to select items that are similar in their structure on a website, or we can use capture text that will allow us to just select a specific part of the page. This is gonna be good for things like product pages on like a Shopify store. There's also capturing screenshots of a page. So if you want to capture a screenshot, this is how you do it. But for today on Sam.gov, we're going to be using the capture list option right here. And all we have to do is we're going to want to hover over the lists that we're looking for to scrape. So as I hover over the sections here, Browse AI uses the different sections on the page to determine the different lists that we want to scrape. And if I hover kind of right here, you'll notice we actually get all of the different list items that we're looking to scrape. So we want to get these 24 
five government contracts on sam.gov and all the information inside each of the boxes. So I'm going to kind of go over here and give this a click and you'll notice we get all of the different contracts on this page. So now we can just pick the information we want from each of the lists. So I'm going to hover on over the title of this contract here. And if I get it lined up right, I can click on it. And there's two options we have here. We can save two different variables from this one particular text here. So we can capture the visible text, which I will do. And then we're also going to want to go back over it again. That didn't work. We're going to go back over it one more time. And then we're going to capture the link. So let's look capture two different variables. We have the text from the title and also the link from the title. And let's also capture the notice ID. And then we'll also capture this description here. We'll capture the visible text for the department agency. We're just going to capture the visible text for this one. Same thing with the sub tier, just the visible text. We're also going to get the office information, the current date offers are due, the notice type here, the updated date. We're, we're just going to grab the capture visible text and also the publish date. And now once we have all the information from our one contract, you'll notice it grabs the same information for all of the different listings on this page. And then we just hit enter. And after that, it's going to ask us to name each of these variables. So when it scrapes this page, it'll put them in a row according to these headers. So for this, we're just going to name this title and click on enter. And this is for the link. So I'm just going to name this link. We have the notice ID. So I'm just going to name this ID. We have the description here. I'll name this department for the department agency, as well as the sub tier office for the office information. I'll name this offer due for the due date of the offer. I'll name this one type for the notice type updated date for the update date and the published date will be the published date. There we go. And now we have all of our variables and you'll see as soon as we get the last one entered in, we have all of our information here from our page. And what's great too, is if even if it doesn't exist, it'll leave it blank, which is nice because there'll be no formatting issues. If for some reason the listing doesn't have that information already auto populated in. And then from here, we got to do a couple more things. We're going to name this list. So I'm going to name this Sam contracts. We're going to want to choose choose the amount of rows that we want to extract. For this, I'm going to extract a custom number of actually what we're going to do is this let's click on please select the pagination type and we're going to click on click to navigate to the next page. And what this will do is allow us to go to the bottom here. And once we get to the last 25, we can tell it to click on this button right here. And if I move my camera, this will allow us to capture more than the 25 rows of information that are on this page. So instead of putting 25 in here, Let's put like 40 because 40 will mean that we have to at least go to the next page in order to grab the additional 15 that are on the next page because there's only 25 rows per page. And you'll notice once we have all this populated in, we get a new button here, capture list, click on this, and we just click on finish recording and it'll upload our brand new robot. Now, all we got to do is just configure it by giving it a name. That's fine. And we'll give it a search. This is going to take a couple minutes, but it's basically going to do the first initial run through of our robot. So I'll come back to you when that's done. Awesome. And a couple seconds later, we get our information. So you can see here we have Sam contracts, 40 results, and we have all of the information from the pages. This only shows the first 10, but if you click on see all 40 items, we get all 40 results. And what's great too, is it even goes to the next page through that pagentation feature that we've clicked on and goes to the next one to get all of the information for us. Sweet. So then from here, all we have to do is just head down here and click on yes, looks good. If there's any issues with it, you can always retrain it or delete it, but we'll click on yes. And now our robot is pretty much all good to go. From here, we can do a lot of different steps to integrate this bot into whatever kind of workflow we want. We can click on the tables here to see tables of our past searches. And also the integrate tab here is another thing you're going to want to be looking at. There's a ton of great integrations here that we can use to send our data once we run our robot inside of browse. I'm going to set up a workflow with Google Sheets, but you can obviously use any of the ones that are listed here. I'll enable syncing with Google Sheets. I'll log into my account. I'll create a new spreadsheet and I'm going to name this Sam Contracts. And then I'll just click on create spreadsheet and activate integration. So now what's going to happen is every time we run this workflow, it's going to put the information we get from the contracts and put it inside of our Google Sheet. So let's give this a shot now. If we head back to run task here, you'll notice we have options to change our origin URL as well as our contact limit. So I'm going to head back over to sam.gov and instead of putting in buildings here, let's remove move this keyword and let's put in something like food. So there's a ton of contracts here on chicken egg.
bags, top freezer refrigerators. Yeah, a lot of stuff here you can look through, but we're gonna take this URL here. We're gonna stick this inside of our origin URL, and then we're gonna change our contact limits to whatever we're looking for. Let's say we wanna scrape like 30 instead of 40 this time, and then click on run a task. While this is running, I wanna show you guys the run task bulk feature. If you wanna do more than one URL at a time, this feature is gonna save you a ton. And click on this bulk run tests here. I would recommend downloading the sample CSV input here, and it will kind of show you the format of what it's looking for. But basically, if you just make a CSV file with all your URLs, and then the limit for each of those URLs in a list here, you can then take this Excel file, and you can just pop it right into here, and it would go through and run a robot for every single one of those rows with a URL and a limit, which is amazing. This is saving me a ton of time when I'm doing bulk scraping. All right, I had to rerun it because it wasn't working the first time, so I got 40. You can see here we got our brand new list of the food contracts, like I was saying earlier. And if we take a look at our Google Sheets, you'll notice we have a new SAM contracts tab right here with all the data we got from Browse AI. Isn't that awesome? It just automatically gets posted right into here once it's done scraping. But I want to show you some of the other templates that I mentioned in the beginning of this video that will allow you to just hop right on here and start playing around and scraping all kinds of websites in minutes. So if we head back over to the dashboard here, we can choose from Browse Pre-Built Robots right here, which will allow us to select from all the robots in the pre-built robots page. And there are a ton of good ones in here. We have all kinds of services from Airbnb, Amazon, Chrome, Fiverr, Glassdoor, Google, Indeed, LinkedIn, LoopNet, Monster, Reddit, Product Hunt, TikTok, TripAdvisor, Y Combinator, YouTube, Zillow, ZoomInfo. So let's try a couple of these ones out. Personally, I want to try this Expedia one out here. It's kind of piquing my interest. So we have the extract hotels list from Expedia. So we can just click on use this automation. So it will basically copy this template of a robot and put it inside of our account. So from here, all we have to do is just input our hotel list from Expedia. I'm looking to go to the Florida Keys pretty soon. So I'm going to copy this search result just for Florida Keys for the next couple days here. I'll head back over to the robot page. I'll put in my URL and then we can change however many hotels we want. I'm going to go with 20 hotels and then we'll click on next step. It'll show us the configuration and just start extracting. In my experience, I've had a lot less hiccups and issues just by using the pre-built templates that Browse AI has already made. And it's honestly where I see where most people are going to get value out of Browse AI, especially for people who are non-tech and don't know how to code and don't know how to build web scrapers. It's a very friendly and intuitive way to make web scraping accessible to pretty much anyone. And there we go. We got our 20 search results right here from Expedia. You can see all 20 items. Another thing too that I forgot to mention while we were scraping Sam is this monitor tab here. We can actually create a monitor for this scraper to automatically run this scraper on a set interval. So for instance, if you want to scrape a product page, so you always have the most up-to-date price, you would use this so it constantly scrapes the website to grab that pricing information. You can have it run once on any day you'd like in your time zone on the specific URL with however many results you want, and you can just save it right here. And then it will run on that interval every day and send you an email with the results. It's pretty straightforward and intuitive. Once again, if you're looking to get reoccurring information or the most up-to-date information on any kind of website that you're scraping, this is how you would set that schedule there. Before we go, let's look at one more pre-built template. If I'm looking to extract stuff from Indeed, for instance, I'm gonna extract job listings from Indeed. I'm gonna click on this one here and let's try this one out. We'll use this automation. And this one, it looks like we don't even need a link. We could just put in our job title location and our amount of jobs. So I'm gonna go for Automation Expert. This will be interesting. And let's put it as like remote. And let's see if we can get like 30 jobs. This will be interesting. I haven't tried this out yet. And here we go. It looks like we get design engineer, senior full stack. Okay, so I guess it's just like coding, which makes sense. And we get our 30 items for that search result. We have the Indeed link when it's posted, a little bit of a description here, location, the company, and the position. We can download this data if we want, either as a CSV or JSON. And there we go. We got all of our Indeed data right here. Or as we saw earlier, you can use the integration here and you can set it up to a Google Sheet and you can just make a brand new Google Sheet with the Indeed data. So whenever it gets ran, it sends the data that we made over to Google Sheets. This has got to be one of the simplest and easiest ways to scrape any website in a matter of minutes. What I love about Browse AI is there's no coding at all. All it is just click on what you want and then hit the button to go and then you get a nice layout of all the information that you're looking for. Once 
again, I'll have a link down in the description below for you to get started using Browse AI. And also let me know down in the comments, what websites are you gonna be scraping with Browse AI? But if you're looking for Google Maps data specifically, how about you check out this video here where I showcase my app Scrape Table, which allows you to scrape unlimited Google Maps data for free in a matter of seconds. If you haven't seen that video, it's an absolute banger. So make sure you go check it out and I'll see you over there.